everybody, it's Superstar Gamer. Welcome back to more Kirby's Epic Yarn. In the last episode, we completed Snowland. And uh, we did came out to uh, Kuti Court and did some decorating and got ourselves a new video game. And met a friend named Buster. And uh, we did check our progress. So that we're getting close to the end now. And now, today, we're heading off to Spaceland! I did press the minus button to access the world map. And I instantly go there. Here we are, Snace! Snace. Spaceland! I don't know why it's Snace. It's not even a real word, Snace. It's supposed to be Spaceland. I guess I'm really excited to fish up the game because we're getting close to the end. <laughs> Whatever. Welcome to Future City, first level in Spaceland. Whoops, did not mean to do that. Oh, I gotta wait for the elevator. I, I do like how Spaceland looks all futuristic and stuff. Alright, don't press up again. There we go. Next one, look up. And we got ourselves a bit of roller coaster. Let's see if we can catch it. Oh no! Dang! Go off a pit. At least I don't have any beads, so... Thank you, Angie. Okay, let's just... Wait for it now. There we go. All aboard the roller coaster! Please keep your hand, heads, and feet inside the ride at all times. That's what they usually say when it comes to a roller coaster ride. We got a lot of beads there. Whoop. Thank you. you gotta watch your timing, though. Whoa. Ha ha! Got down to the ladder! That's very nice. Now, we better be careful because I think this might be a really tough level to like, get all the stuff. But as long as we do it, we can overcome anything. Nothing over there. Let's ride the elevator. Going on up. And we got like. Ooh, three-dimensional platforms! We really are in the future! If it's like the future of video games! Ha! <laughs> I believe that's the UFO! Here's a UFO enemy right there! Just like the, uh, other enemies! They have like a little ball of yarn inside of them! And when you see like three of them, they'll split off the three! And they'll be homing! And we have these electrified floors, they will reactivate! after a while. So you don't want to stay on them, otherwise you'll get zapped. Got a lot of beads there. A one, a two, and a one, two, three, what I say. <laughs> I've been doing that like a lot. Okay, so we'll put that ball darn ball of yarn down, which you have to press down to put it down, by the way. There we go. We got treasure chest. We have a space monitor. This is kind of a TV. Well, what? This is kind of a TV. We'll watch in the future, right? <laughs> so it's like a futuristic TV. A futuristic TV monitor from outer space. Ooh, outer space adventure. Now we have some seesaws. These platforms we weigh down by the Waldies and you. Balls of yarn will also count. As you can see there, I was able to uh, do that. I'll we'll put that down. See it? Balls of yarn, uh, the Waldies and Kirby pretty much wait the same. So you can kind of like use it to your advantage and not so much for that. Let me just do it again. Okay, I'll just grab this Waldie, kill him, and we can bounce. Upward. Look. It's it. Same weight. Everything. Put that down. I just go back up. Plus that upward. Let's see if I can kill you. Ah! Oh boy. Okay. I would just put that down. It's kind of a hard location. Look! Did it! Got the three star patch. That was so bad and... Good ball of yarn disappear! Yeah, balls of yarn do disappear after a while. Just FYI. 
Here we go, UFO time! Time to become a UFO! And let's go ahead and suck some stuff up. We can even defeat a UFO with us as a UFO. And there's certainly a lot of these in this level. So if you ever want to grind for money, holy cow, these levels give you a lot of beads in the process. And of course, there'll be some secrets along the way. There's some scarf beads I haven't seen them in a while. Again, I ain't afraid of scarfies. They won't even defeat me. And we just... Ah! We got a space jelly. Another type of... Hang on me! Wow! Okay, wait for that fire. Can I suck these up? No, I can't. Come here. Yeah! Right, let's just wait for the fire. There we go. Ow! Okay. I'm... Man, I really need to be more careful. At least there'll be more beads in here. There we are. See, we're getting back to Silver Ray. Just need to keep up the pace. Get out of my way. Uh, I think the UFO form is kind of a little bit difficult to control. I mean, it's a little bit slippery, I guess. Whoa, boy! Here comes the Scarfy. It's like mad. Ow! Bow. Bow and arrow. Ball of D. Take that! Okay. There we go. They were getting close to the end. Please don't attack me, Scarfy. They will explode. No, that's very sneaky, not even boom. Okay. More beads over here. Wait for that. Ooh. Going on up. I'll grab you, Waddle Stew. More beads. I'll gladly take those. Back up to silver. Very nice. Almost a gold rick as well. Stuff. Keep going. I'm be more careful. The blast! Nice blast attack. And there we go, we're done. Yeah. Let's head on down here. Luckily. Okay, I probably should mention this because I would say something random. In cartoons, how could an elevator fall at the speed of gravity? Like, it, it doesn't make any sense. You would think that it'd be like, um,. A simple elevator ride. I mean, I did watch one episode of Face of Fur where, where it has like an elevator that falls with speed of gravity. It's not like a treasure hunt with Perry and Jupiter Spurts. Yeah, that's pretty much it. <sighs> Logically, having an elevator that falls with speed of gravity is not fun. And it's very dangerous, so. Yeah, that's why that's safe to worry. So we have. A space table! It makes food, food automatically. It's right up Kirby's alley. And it's right up my alley, too, because I like to eat food. And we got the five star patch down there. And then show you guys how to do it. <laughs> I did show you guys how to do it. You just have to break the block. So it will break uh, this block that I'm standing on down here. You can go to that hole. And you can actually get to that five star patch pretty easily. Yeah, oh boy! Took care of you. And let's hop to it. Oh, man. Oh, oh boy. Okay. We're fine. We managed to get through that. So that wasn't so bad. Okay, second roller coaster section. Uh, just warn you, there's a jump that you have to make. If you don't make the jump successfully, successfully, you won't be able to get the CD, so... We'll just have to keep our eyes out for it. Just FYI. I'll grab these beads if I can, get all the patches, we just need to get the CD now. Here we go. There's made beads along the way, too. Ah! Oh man, I thought for sure I got that UFO. 
And hoppy hop hop! Got gold rake! I'll probably just take the bottom pass. What? Got that guy. Take that! Oh man! Oh boy. And I think I had to miss it. Got up there! Whatever. We can go back. And at least I got a gold rake! Yeah, it might be a tough flow if you got a gold rake and I did not get five stars. I only got three. Yep, only three. But hey! At least we did it. Another pouch is ours. So that does it for Future City aside from the CD. So yeah, you have to take the upper roller coaster and make a jump to a ladder. And we got the plug patch. So we'll probably plug in something. Let's go ahead and toss it. Let's see. Go ahead and plug in the TV. We can now go into Tube Town. It's like tube. It's like a town full of YouTubers or something. <laughs> anyway. Let's go get that CD. Meet you at the end of the level. Alright, we made it back. Alright, let's go ahead and wait for the roller coaster. Here we go. Okay, let's see what we got. Just gotta jump on top of the uh, roller coaster that is like above us. As we saw. Probably should have done that from the beginning. But whatever. Let's Go on down. Get these beads along the way. And oh, I made it on! Nice! Okay, let's just stay up above. And just wait for that jump to come. Just gotta be ready for it. Ready for it. It's coming up. Okay, now! Made it! Let's go ahead and grab the song! Future City? Alright. We completed uh, Future City for real. Alright, now let's go ahead and get the 5-star patch. Well, 5-star rake. Come on. Oh, I got nothing! <laughs> oh well. At least we completed the level. So, now that we've done that, it's time for us to tackle uh, Tube Town. We just unlocked. Just wait for that to loot. There it goes. Don't know really now. Onward to Tube Town. Let's head inside this gigantic TV. Of course, once we go in, we'll see what the level is going to be like. It looks like we're inside of a TV or like a computer. Doesn't it? Or maybe like a video game console <laughs> with all like the digital stuff. Of course, there's gotta be like, some electrical hazards here. Yeah, let's just let's be more careful. Because I probably get hit a lot. Okay, there's a treasure chest over there. We just need to break that block so that way it's not in our way. So we need to hop up here to get this wall to do. Here we go, top there. And we'll reveal that button. Get there we get a digital clock. Even you can even see it when the lights are out. I mean, it's helpful to like see a digital, see what time it is on a digital clock. I mean, have you ever guys have like a clock that's digital? Because many people, myself included, have a digital clock. I like, quite frankly, I do like it. And quite frankly, I always wanted to have like an alarm clock. That way I can like wake up in the morning and stuff like that. You know, that means like start the day off with having an alarm clock to wake you up. Alright, there's a lot of electrified floors. And of course, well I blew part is the electricity so you don't want to get sapped by them. Alright, we're gonna see a snip snap. I haven't seen those in a while. Just gonna plug itself in. And it'll cost these uh, platforms to appear. Which is really cool. So we can have like 
different shaped moving platforms to help us. And I'm just gonna get all these beads just because I can. There we go. I really like this song it plays. Here, have a listen. Got the Tomb Town music just by doing so. And it's a really cool song. It's like all 8 bit. Except that this place is like all electronic and stuff. And be inside of a TV. Alright, we got ourselves a bit of a puzzle. Here is this Don Don. Let me see what we got here. There's an electrical alley right there. Ah! Go away. Thank you. Okay. I think this one's where we got. It. I think this was where we need to progress, so... Logically, we'll need a guy to step staff through there. But there's a middle electrical outlet, so... Logically, we'll have to bring the snip snap that away. There we go! And we'll push that crystal star down here! Big go, Silver Rake! Totally cool. And right, now let's go to the electrical alley, which we gotta progress. Right up here, past the Dawn Dawn, which I will kill. There we go. Here it comes. The electrical circuit is complete. And now there's like a five star patch, so. Logically, we need to get inside. There's that one. Ah! Dang it, what'll do? Uh, all right, man, I just getting hit like crazy. It's that's not really personal. All right, now we have another one of those. So let's get that snip snap in there, and that's actually we need to get up there. So let's hop on up. Here we go. Now let's see what we else we got. Ah, this is really a platform. Got a duck. You actually used the ducking in this game. <laughs> but frankly, I think it over here. Alright, we need to duck down. There we go. There's our song. Song. No. Second treasure. <laughs> Man, I just mix them up my words. It's not even fight. Anyway, circuitry rug. Ever feel like you're inside a computer? That this is the rug for you. It does feel like we're inside a computer. What Tube Town is like. That's much like a a TV, like I said. And like a feel good console, oh boy. Yeah, I don't want to get crushed. And there we go, got the Crystal Star there. Now we have some Gordos! Man. We got some movie platforms while dealing with these Gordos. This not that bad. See, if we move along, move against the current and watch our timing, it shouldn't be that hard. You like that. Oh boy! Ah, you're not gonna be today, Gordos. Not even gonna be even one time. Man, I still wish we could kill Gordos and Kirby. But no, they have to be invincible enemies. Like, seriously, they have to be such invincible enemies that we can't even beat. There we go. Completed Toop Town. I would say it's a pretty cool looking level. And we got like some electrical sparks on that next patch. Got 70,000 beats now over that. 71,000. Okay, radio waves. Radio waves patch. Probably should be called by such a electricity patch or something. I don't know. Anyway, use that signal. We caught down the UFO and brought down the sky. And that's a lot. There's a lot more space land to discover. And we got a mysterious UFO, which we're gonna tackle in the next episode. So, next time on Kirby's Epic Yarn, we'll do just that. See you guys then.